Let me tell you something. When's the last time, those of you who know, people like Ozzy Osbourne, and he puts his hands up and he goes in concert. I'm sure some of you have seen Ozzy. We love you! Did you hear him say that? He is saying, I love the money you're giving me! <laughs> and Ozzy is a tremendous um, businessman. And obviously he is an icon in heavy metal because he's a good businessman. But just like the rest, I pity these people. Because they don't know God, and Ozzy knows better. And he feels it inside him that every time he steps up in front of people and says, I love you, he does not grasp what love is because he does not know God. God is love, and if you do not know love in your life, it's because you don't know God. And that's what God's Word says. And I will not play games with our family and go off on some tangent because we have to pay off our $27,000 debt and do everything for money. We will not do that. God will provide. And we will hold the torch high for ministry, strong ministry. And I am challenging you that if you see people in the Christian music world who are not following God's word, that you do not support them. And I'm talking about labels, I'm talking about promoters, I'm talking about bands. And I'm not talking my brothers and sisters down. I was talking to Doug Van Pelt in Heaven's Metal and I said to him about this and he said, we just want to be careful we don't have some kind of division in the body. And I said, but maybe that's good. Because people have to take seriously the fact that kids are coming to Christian concerts and they're thirsty for God's Word because they're tired of what they see in their everyday life and they're not getting fed. 